Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage, hope everybody's doing well. So we're getting back to working on the race truck, uh, kind of doing the same thing we've been doing in all the other videos, just fixing some loose ends and just getting this thing ready so when our transmission and our um, torque converter are back, we can get this thing back to the track. So today we're focusing on something that could potentially be a major safety issue. Uh, so. We had some issues on the dyno with our exhaust pipe. So if you guys remember and watching the video, when we finally started getting this thing up to like 5,000 RPM and really like making some steam with it on the dyno, our exhaust pipe, the force from the exhaust exiting the turbo was actually taking this thing and pushing the whole exhaust pipe down. So. When we were on the dyno, we took the front clip off because Ryan got out of the truck and he goes, uh, the entire cab just filled with smoke. So We have you know soot all over the place you know our whole front clips got soot on this area because this thing was just it was so much force coming out of this thing it just forced this pipe to rotate down so to avoid any issues at the track we just ran without the clip on it to begin with that way we didn't have to worry about it i started with this thing up and by the time we were done it was against our ratchet strap that we used to have a, across our front suspension so Needless to say, that is something that needs to be taken care of. So I've been out here in the garage for a little bit now, just kind of eyeballing the job before we go and tackle it. And I've been having some issues with the front clip. So I was trying to put the front clip on and things just weren't lining up the way they should. So normally I lower the front clip, grab it, kind of push it in. But the front clip's now sitting up here. Like it's not sitting as low as it should. And our exhaust pipe, which I know you guys probably can't see, is right against this wall of the inside of our hood stack. I'm like looking at it. And so I rotated the, the inside piping out of the way and the hood would flop down how it should. So I'm sitting here thinking, what is the problem? Why won't this thing go where it's supposed to? What, why is this exhaust pipe moved? Nothing under the hood has changed. Nothing at all. What, what could possibly be the issue? Well, then I realized what the problem was. We don't have a transmission in a truck. So without our 48RE in here, the engine has rotated, you know, so it's sitting kind of level. Normally it sits at a little bit of a rake. I don't know if it's a 10 degree rake, I'm not even sure. But because we have our transmission out, our transmission cross member, all that, our engine has rotated forward, so it's just sitting flat. So that's the issue with the hood stack. We have no transmission in it. And no, this is not our 48RE back from Muldoon's. This is my mock-up transmission because, well, everybody's got to have a mock-up 48RE. As you can see, it's completely empty. It's just an overdrive housing and a main case. As you can see here, this was actually the original uh, 48RE we had in the truck. As you can see here, one time, uh, torquing down the pump bolts the aluminum actually broke on the case so we had to get a new case back then but it's all well and good because i've actually used this mock-up case multiple times for little projects on the truck while we didn't have our you know full 48 re that and if we wanted to mock something up even if our full transmission was here if we weren't ready to put it in this is um a good deal lighter so what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting our mock-up 48RE back in. Or we're going to put our transmission cross member. We're going to bolt all that stuff up so our front clip will get back where it's supposed to be and come down and everything will be in the location of the truck. You know, it'll be in the location when the truck is fully together and ready to run. Then we're going to go ahead and try and keep that hood stack from moving. There's a couple of different ways I've been thinking about. I'm leaning one way, but I don't know if we have enough meat there. We'll get this whole engine sorted out, leveled, or where it should be, and then we'll talk about that. Our 
Our mock-up 48RE is in. Our front clip now folds back down how it should, how it has um, in the past. Uh, I really, honestly, it took me a while to figure out what was wrong here, what had changed um, for this thing not to want to go back on, but we got it. So now to the main object that we want to get to, and that's this exhaust pipe and exhaust housing. So like I said, the force coming out of this five inch pipe was so great that even, I mean, you can even see how the clamp is a bit distorted for me trying to torque it down even tighter, but it would still rotate. So there's two ways we can go about this. The easy way and the not so easy way. So we could put a brace coming off of this pipe and just run it down like our engine mount or somewhere on our block and that would keep this thing in place, you know, and keep it from rotating. The not so easy way is to actually dowel the exhaust tube or the exhaust flange from the pipe to the exhaust flange on the turbo housing. The only problem with that is there's not really a whole lot of meat on this exhaust flange. So um, let me mark it and then I'll show you because I just want to kind of dissect it a little more myself as well because I'm not 100% 100% sure where I'm going. But well, the easy way, it's that's just so easy so like i was saying as you guys can see there's not a whole lot of meat here um, it's not like a very thick flange um, my preference would be definitely to dowel it but it's just this is so thin um, i mean we have a little more meat on the exhaust flange there but yeah um Well, whatever I decide, you're going to be surprised in the next clip because I haven't figured it out yet and I'll uh, probably just have at it. So as you guys can see, I picked the dowel method. So basically mark this thing real good. And I got a roll pin to put in there as small as I could get. It's about a hundred thousandths roll pin. So as you can see on our flange, everything's good there. It does go through the back side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to weld that up and then we can take our grinder and just kind of clean it up for our V-band to hold it so we don't get any um, exhaust coming out of there. But I also drilled a corresponding hole on our exhaust pipe, which we just line up here. And we should be good to go. So there's our, our dowel in, our exhaust pipe's on. We, all we need to do is put our V-band. So we'll cut that dowel down um, once we're, well, yeah, I guess we'll weld it first, make sure everything goes good there. Then we'll cut that thing down and our V-band will go on and everything should be nicey-nice. Uh, honestly, there was a little pucker factor when I was drilling this because 
yeah like i said not much meat there not much room for screwing up now that being said this is a hundred thousandths roll pin i i'm not worried at all about this thing breaking because when the exhaust would come on when you watch the video it would just slowly creep down it's not like that thing went from upright to down right away so it's not like there's a lot of force plus there's no way for it to get momentum with that uh you know the dowel and the and the hole in the exhaust flange so it's not like it's going to get momentum and shear it off so i don't think that that'll be a problem but what i'm going to do now i'll weld this up and get you know get that hulk filled in i might even tap the dowel pin in a little more i haven't decided yet but anyway we'll get this welded cut get this uh, uh roll pin cut down get this all sorted out uh yeah for a few minutes there i was definitely debating i wanted to do this from the get but i was definitely debating about just putting a strap down to the block it would have been a lot easier wouldn't you know have to worry about messing anything up but i think we're good so anyhow we'll get this welded up get it ground down and off to the races we'll be <laughs> So we successfully dialed our exhaust housing. So if you guys look on this side, I was able to weld it, uh, basically melted the metal down, a little bit of filler, not much. Took the grinder to it there, just touched it up a little bit, but I think that's good. We should be able to put our V-band wherever we wanted. We have our little dowel sticking out on this end. So we should be able to grab our exhaust pipe and just line her up. Trying to, trying to do that with a camera in one hand it wasn't working but got our dowel as you can see i cut it right next to the pipe so it's not sticking out we can put our v-band wherever we want and this thing's not going to ever rotate again um yeah that is looking good very happy with how it looks i mean thing is just barely poking out of there so i'll get our v-band on there and our exhaust issues or our exhaust rotating issues should be solved yeah very very happy with that uh oh yeah Now for the real test of if it works or not. Success! So our front clip is back on. Everything is where it's supposed to be. It slid right on and uh, went right where it's supposed to be. Now, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, this thing, and it's all my design, I'm 100% to blame or to account for, whatever. But it's not so simple as just flopping it down and pushing it up. You gotta kinda know how to put it on. You, you know, when you push it up, you gotta, gotta give it a little jab and you know shimmy it one way it's it's not perfect by any means but 
I'm still proud of how it works. It works, it does what it's supposed to do now that our, tran our uh, fake 48RE is in. Our exhaust pipe lines up once again. It's right in there, which you can't see. It's within our exhaust pipe. We have our dowel installed, so we don't have to worry about that thing trying to destroy our fiberglass and fill the cab full of smoke and all that. Um, also, the cab filling with smoke, part of that is something we will take care of sometime here in the near future because I have these holes uh, in the cab. I guess that's where the wiring for the door went and I never like patched them up. So we'll patch those up. So if something ever does happen, hopefully we, you know, kind of slow the progress of the smoke and the soot into the cab, but we didn't have that before. And then that thing, you know, it twisted and all that. So anyway, guys, we got our tur or our turbo. We got our exhaust situation figured out. We got a dowel in there, so that thing shouldn't rotate anymore. We shouldn't have the issue we had down at Harway. That was the reason we ran without the front clip um, at the track. Now, they let us do that at Harway. It was a private testing session. If we were in competition or if we were at another track, would they let us do that? I don't know. That, that being said, I wouldn't want to take the risk of having to ask like, hey, can we run this thing without the front end on it because we're having issues? No, I'd rather it just be right and that way we don't have to worry about it. Also, I know some of you are probably thinking, hey, Tom, this is a great idea you came up with. You know, like, how'd you think of that? Honestly, I did not. Uh, the guys at Hardway, when our exhaust did that on the dyno, they said, hey, you might want to throw a dowel in there or some kind of, you know, something like that. They're actually the ones who, you know, suggested the whole dowel idea in the, the exhaust flange. Because honestly, I probably wouldn't have thought of it. I probably would have just put some kind of a, a rod or a hold back, you know, that went to the exhaust manifold or the block and, you know, did it that way. But the dowel is much cleaner and I like how it looks like you can't even tell it's there. Like if somebody came up to it who has had this problem before they'd say oh this exhaust is going to rotate and then when it doesn't they go oh that guy's got a dowel you know that that kind of thing but anyway i guess what i'm trying to say it wasn't my idea originally they gave me the idea down at hardway and then we just fulfilled it back here in pennsylvania so anyway our exhaust shouldn't be a problem again hopefully um if we do have an issue like i don't think that roll pin's going to shear off i i would be very surprised if it did but if something were to happen then we'll have to you know go back and you know figure something else out so anyway guys we did something uh that we had to do here that was really a big safety issue for the truck that exhaust rotating down could you know potentially destroy the front clip potentially get us into an accident because the exhaust and all coming into the cab you know the soot you wouldn't be able to see whatever um, so anyway, we got that taken care of. Just another thing off the checklist that we learned from all of our little adventures down in Florida. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe down below. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Get out in your garage. Get the wrench in on your truck.